Hey, what's going on everyone? So this video is going to be my second vlog that I had in the summer on my summer trip. Now the first video was when I was actually in New York. I was originally planning to go from New York to Texas. My original vacation was four days in New York chilling with my friends. And then I was supposed to go to Texas after for about around a week and a half, around 12 days or so. Um, well, actually it's a bit more than a week and a half, but I was supposed to go there for 12 days, but there was a, actually a pandemic outbreak. So that actually canceled all my plans. So I decided actually to go to Europe. So I decided to go to Europe overnight. It was a very sporadic uh, decision, you know, very spontaneous. Um, but yeah, so I went to Europe um, and this is the intro for that video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoy the vlog. Let me know if you guys do enjoy it by commenting down below. What was your favorite part of the video? And without any further ado, let's get started with this video. I'm actually in the lounge. I'm literally just waiting for my flight. My flight takes off at 5.50 p.m. And it is 2, it is 3 p.m. right now. But the issue is the flight is seven hours. And when I arrive, it's 7 a.m. So I really have to make sure that I sleep on the flight because if I don't sleep on the flight, tomorrow morning is going to be absolutely brutal, especially because I need to travel on the train. And I want to make sure no one actually like steals my belongings because it's a big issue in Europe right now is the theft. And my dad was actually telling me, like, make sure you take care of all your stuff and then no one like takes any of your, info, you know, your phone or your laptop or anything because my, my sister actually got uh, some of her stuff stolen while she was actually in Europe with her friends. So that's actually a big issue. And one of my other friends also got a lot of his money stolen while he was in Europe. Um, so I really need to watch out for that and I can't sleep on the train of course because that's a big place where the theft happens but on the airplane there isn't really theft so I can I need to make sure I sleep on the flight um, it's gonna be tough because it's 6 p.m. Eastern time basically on the flight so um, we'll, we'll see hopefully I can be able to sleep on the flight I don't usually make vlogging videos like this but I wanted to make it more um, I guess you know personality based so you guys can see exactly what I do behind the scenes so that's kind of why I made a video like this and I probably will make future videos of me vlogging when I'm in the hospital as well as any travels that I'm gonna be doing this year because I will be doing a lot of traveling All right, very, very, very hectic morning. So I went on the plane and then I arrived in actually Milan. So I just arrived in Milan maybe around um, three hours ago or so. Took the train from Milan to Milan Central Station, which is about 45 minutes. It was around 13 euros or so, Brought came here. And I was supposed to have a train that went from Milan to um, a city called Spies in Switzerland. And Spies was gonna take me to Interlaken. Now, it said online that reservations were required. Now, I tried reserving yesterday the seats because I bought some Eurorail Pass that allows me to go on the trains kind of, I guess, for free or unlimited based on the price that I already paid for them. Um, but I needed to reserve for this specific train. So it wouldn't let me reserve online. So I decided to try my luck when I came here to the, to the station. Um, and then I came here and the lady said, sorry, there's no reservations at all. And the only next train you can take is at 1.30. Now, this train that I'm gonna take at 1.30 is more of a regional train, so it's not a high-speed train. So what I'm doing right now is basically waiting for that train. Now a big issue that I remembered is because since I wasn't planning on coming to Europe is I don't have the converter for the charger for my phone for my laptop. So once my laptop and my phone die, it's kind of like good game. I, I need to find a place to buy it. I haven't found any place here in the airport. Now on top of that, the Wi-Fi available here in the airport, um, it requires that you send a code to your phone, uh, a text message in order for you to connect to the Wi-Fi. Now clearly I'm abroad. So I can't access my phone uh, number, so I can't take my phone off airplane mode because then it'll charge me a lot. And if I were to get the code, um, and, I, and I basically can't get the code, right? Because I'm on airplane mode, so I can't really connect to the Wi-Fi. So right now, I'm basically connected to Sephora's free Wi-Fi, sitting in front of a restaurant, literally like right in front of the trains. And I'm waiting for my train, which is at 1.30. And I'll let you guys know exactly what happens, what time I get on the train, if I end up buying a converter. I'll let you guys know all about that, but really everything is up in the air, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update.
So I think the last time I left you guys, I was at Milan Central train station. So since then, I took three different trains that got me to Interlaken, Switzerland. So right now, I'm in Interlaken, Switzerland, and I'm actually staying at a hostel. There's f I have four other roommates right here. Here is my bed. And we also have our own locker so we can store anything outside of it that's really valuable like our laptop well i put my laptop my ipad my passport and my nexus card i put them all in there and take in just literally take in this is my view now right now i'm gonna go try to book the skydive so i could do it two days from now on the wednesday right now is monday and i also want to book there's this tour that could take you to the highest point in europe um, and I want to figure out exactly what I could do for that and I want to do it tomorrow morning So my plan is to do that tomorrow morning and then the skydive on Wednesday then Wednesday night I want to go to Munich. I'm not sure if my plans will change. They might um, I actually met two of my roommates already both of them two of them are from Laos um, They're actually studying one is studying business one is studying econo applied economics in Budapest Hungary And they literally just came here um, just to enjoy enjoy some time off but without any further ado, I'll take you guys with me right now. And the next clip you guys are probably going to see is tomorrow, which, which is whether I'm actually going to be on my way to the top of the point in Europe or I'm going to be doing the uh, skydive. So one or the other is going to be taking place tomorrow and the other one's going to be, be taking place the next day. So look forward to that. All right, so right now it's 8.50 a.m. I have a skydive booked for 9 a.m. I'm waiting for people to pick me up. They're picking me up in five minutes. I just had breakfast. We have like free coffee here at the Hotel the Breakfast Tea House. It's actually a really good hostel. Like, taking we open the door using, um, 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 uh, not using a key, we kind of use like a wireless card. So, it's actually really, really nice. Uh, I'll take you guys with me when I go skydiving today. I'm also thinking of going to the top of Europe after skydiving because it just depends how long it's going to take. Um, skydiving was at nine, like I told you, it should take three or four hours. I was planning on doing it tomorrow, but the only issue is tomorrow it's raining, so I wouldn't have been able to do it tomorrow. Um, I've skydived before. Um, but I've never done it in the mountains, so I guess we'll see how that goes. All right, yo, so look at this. Right now we're in an ice cave kind of thing, and taking the floors are also really, really slippery. Oh my gosh, it's literally slippery, like it's literally, it's, it's fully iced, like you literally touch it and it's slippery. This is my friend Jay right here. Jay, you want to say hi to the camera? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's so slippery here. Nice. Literally, look, it's so slippery. You can literally slide. Again, I'm literally freezing right now because I didn't I don't have my jacket right because remember I wasn't supposed to come here so I literally don't even have my jacket and I'm literally dying like you could literally slide on the floors and they call this part the top of Europe This is like a cave within a cave. It's like caveception. Young Fro. That's the place we're in right now. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'd rather not pronounce it because like, I'll just make a fool out of myself. But I'll probably put it on the screen right now. I'll definitely put it on the screen right now.
So you know, yesterday, you know that guy Jane that I was with. So basically, this guy I met him on the way to the skydive, and he's a research engineer, and he has a PhD in light physics. So this guy's a genius. And it turns out we actually had the exact same itinerary. We both went skydiving in the morning, and then we went to the area in Interlaken where it takes you to the top of Europe, and that place taking no snowing when you were there, which is actually insane. Which something that actually sucked is I didn't have a jacket because I wasn't planning to come to Europe. Remember I told you I was planning to go to Texas, so it was really really freezing. But thank God I was able to come out of it, and I was able to get down it. You know, nothing bad happens to me. All right, so I just got into Luxembourg right now. So I just came from Interlock in Switzerland. Um, now the thing is, I need to go find and buy a SIM card. So I just checked into my hostel. I already put everything down. And now I need to go to the company Orange, which is where I'm going to buy my SIM card from. Now the thing is, the SIM cards that you buy from Switzerland actually don't work in the other European countries because Switzerland is not part of the European Union. So it's kind of frustrating if you want to use data outside of the hostel. Um, so I didn't have a SIM card in Switzerland, but now that I'm outside of Switzerland, I'm going to go get a SIM card right now. Now, um, they close at 6 p.m. and right now it's 5. I also kind of got lost a bit, so I'm not really exactly sure where I'm going. Kind of going down a random path right now, as you guys can see. Literally walked up this hill. Also, yo, keep in mind, I haven't eaten anything for this whole day. Right now it's 5.01 p.m. Uh, so I'm really hoping that I can get something to eat right after I get the SIM card because I'm really, really hungry. All right, so we secured the bag, we got the SIM card, and we also got an adapter. So the last hostel that I was at actually had adapters for me. They had two um, and an electric, um, and, elec and an extension cord, sorry. Um, so I didn't need to buy one, but now I came to the hostel that I was at. And although they said online they had adapters, they actually didn't. So the guy at the SIM card store told me where to go and buy them, and I bought actually a really nice one that has USB slots and a USB slot, so that's really nice. Um, so now I'm gonna go get food, and then I'm probably gonna head back to the hostel and sleep so I can wake up early and use the majority of my day because on Friday I have to go to Germany. All right, so I just got back to the room right now. You probably just saw that we were playing ping pong. So I met this guy from the Netherlands. Um, he is 22 years old, he is in a master's in psychology, and he's also flying here by himself. Uh, well, actually, he took the train here by himself, and we're actually going to be chilling the whole day tomorrow. We're going to rent bikes, and then we're going to go around and do all the tourist attractions tomorrow. So that was really, really great, because I was literally just sitting down. Um, I just came back from eating dinner, and then he literally asked to just sit there, and then we just started talking, and then next thing you know, we're spending the whole day together tomorrow. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, this is my setup, basically, for sleeping. Um, I have roommates, I just haven't seen them yet. I have no idea where they are. So I do have two roommates actually, I just don't know where they are exactly. There's one sleeping up here and another one sleeping up here. And then, and then that was all their stuff right there. So honestly I have no idea where they are but they're probably gonna be here soon. Cause right now it's 11, 10 p.m. And breakfast, breakfast is from 6.30 to 9 a.m. which is actually really, really early. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not really looking forward to that. But I'll see you guys tomorrow and I'll take you guys with me tomorrow as well, so stay tuned. All right, so today I woke up pretty early. Uh, breakfast was from 6.30 to 9. So we finished breakfast, me and my friend I made from Netherlands and another guy actually from Bulgaria. Um, and then we went to two museums. Um, then we had lunch and the museum was actually really, really great. One of them was a national history museum and another one was basically a museum talking about how Luxembourg basically became a city. Um, and here we're in front of one of the, um, I think, one of the churches, I'm pretty sure, but it's closed right now, which is pretty frustrating. Then there's also another museum right there, also closed, which is kind of frustrating. So there's two parts of Luxembourg. There's the old city and the new city. So we were, I was in the new city last night, that's where I had dinner, and right now we're moving towards the new city. All right, so like you guys always know, Perrier is my go-to drink right here. So right now I'm trying to figure out exactly where I'm going to next. Tomorrow morning I was originally supposed to go to Prague, Czech Republic, but now I'm thinking go to Munich because Prague is a 12 hour train ride and Munich is a six hour one and I have unlimited trains in Europe. So I bought that before coming. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going from Munich to Prague to uh, Poland because I want to go to the World War II museum that is in Munich and that is in Poland. Um, Krak, 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 Poland. That's where I want to go visit. So here in the hostels, you always want to make sure that you lock your stuff in a locker or you do something to make sure that it's hidden just because because um, you don't know which roommates are going to come. Like, for example, like I told you guys yesterday, I had two roommates, but now they're gone, right? So it's just me right now. But someone could have come in that time and then maybe they would have taken my belongings. Like I put my laptop, I put my iPad, and I also put my passport and my Nexus card. So I had to put them in there. So right now I'm going to figure out exactly where I'm going and then I'll let you guys know what I end up deciding on. So you guys probably saw in the last clip that I was telling you guys I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. So right now I'm just drinking my Perrier. But taken right now outside, it's literally raining. Like, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's raining really, really hard. 
So it was good that I kind of spent this afternoon just trying to figure out exactly where I'm gonna go. <sighs> I'm literally dying. Take and I just took these, my bags, my two bags. I just took them up the hill right now. So Luxembourg is like on two levels. There's a high level and a low level. And to get to the top, it took what, like 30 meters incline? So I just took both of them up the hill. I'm making my way to the train station right now. Um, so I'm about to leave Luxembourg and I'm going to Munich. If you guys saw in the last clip, I guess, I was telling you guys that I was thinking about going to Munich and I had to look for stuff. So I ended up finding a place to stay. I found a good hostel. Um, I also found a couple things to do. I'm gonna check out the BMW museum. Uh, there's also a World War II museum that I wanted to check and a German aircraft museum. So I'm gonna go check those out as well. And right now I'm just kind of just waiting for my bus. So busing here in Luxembourg is actually fully free, which is amazing. You can take the bus um, or the, they call it the tram, I think. Um, and that, that takes you to the train station. The train station you have to pay for. Uh, but to get there, it's free, which is amazing. Uh, Luxembourg is a very rich country, but they don't have a lot of people. Around 500,000 people. I think it's 750,000 actually. Live in all of Luxembourg. It's a very small area. Like driving from one side to the other takes about an hour. Alright, so right now we're on our way to Germany, so I just left Luxembourg maybe about two hours ago. I got on my first train, then I got off at one of these stops in Germany, and now I'm on my second train. I have a total of three trains. This train's a bit long, it's three hours. But the good thing about the German trains is that they all have Wi-Fi. So right now, I can literally plan out my, my, my Prague trip. So that's what's really great about them. Now the downside is that they always come late. I mean, I even talked to some of the people that I met in Luxembourg and they always told me that, yo, the German trains always come late. And that's true. This one did come late about five minutes, which may be an issue because my connection is only 10 minutes for the next train, which is another three hour train. Um, but on, on the plus side, I get to plan out everything right now. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. All right, so we just arrived here in the hostel. So this is my, this is the place where I'm staying. So I have, there's six beds, there's one, two, three, four, then five, six, and we also have six lockers for all of us. So right now it's actually just me and another person. I haven't really met them yet. Um, and what's really cool about these lockers is that you can actually unlock them with a key card. So you don't need to bring your own locker or anything. Uh, right now we're in Munich, like I told you guys. So I think I'm locker four. Um, so right now I'm just gonna unpack really quickly and then I'm gonna start going into the city. I'm gonna walk around just to scope out the area so that tomorrow when I do all the tours, I'll be able to figure out exactly where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be going to the BMW museum as well as another two museums, maybe a fourth one. I'm not sure if I'll have enough time because it is about like an hour train from the city. Um, so I need to wake up really, really early tomorrow in order to get everything done tomorrow because on Sunday I leave for Prague. Um, so right now I'm just gonna unpack and I'll take you guys with me where I end up going in the city. going on everyone so I just finished going to the BMW museum so right now it's the second day so I think the last clip that you guys saw I was actually in the in the hostel um, so last night I went out for dinner um, I went to this really great restaurant I, well actually I walked 38 minutes to get there and then once I got there they told me they had no table so I was like okay I could just wait and then they're like uh, no there's a waiting list and you probably won't be able to get it because I got there around 8 p.m. so I was like okay fine and then he's like go to the self-service counter so I went to the self-service counter um, and then I the whole menu was in German obviously he was like, I don't read German um, so then I talked to the guys that worked there I was like hey do you guys have anything in English and none of them understood English literally not one of them so then I was really upset because I walked like 38 minutes to get there. So then I actually took an electric scooter because here in Munich there's a lot of electric scooters. I'll actually show you guys today. And I took an electric scooter to another restaurant which was really, really, really good. And I got a schnitzel from there and then I got actually a second meal which was like pork. Nothing really special about that. And then now, and then I actually went out later with my friends that are actually living here in Germany. Um, they're living here for the summer. They're doing a camp. With the, like working in a camp. So that was really fun. We also used the electric scooters as well. Now I just finished the museum. I, well, there's two areas of it. There's the BMW well which is basically all of the current cars that they have and then there's the museum which is like all the recent history of the cars and how they um, they used to have planes before and boats they used to produce the engines for them but they stop now um, so right now I'm just taking a break I'm, I just got a cup of coffee right here um, and then right after this I'm actually going to go to another museum that is actually really far from here it's around a 25 minute drive and that place they have a lot of German aircraft so that's why I kind of want to go and check it out and then after that I have a couple things that I might want to do it's just depending on the time Right now it's 1.20 p.m. I was in the museums for about, here in the BMW one, for about two and a half, three hours, um, which was really, really nice. I also wanted to go to the BMW plant, and I wanted to do a tour of that, which was around an hour and a half, but they were closed today. They only have it on the weekdays, which was very, very frustrating. Basically, you go through a whole uh, tour of the many 
manufacturing a BMW and they have the whole tour for you. Um, and what sucks as well is if you're not in the tour, you can't just like walk through and, and go through it like randomly. So that was really, really frustrating. So right now I'm just chilling right now in the BMW Museum um, Cafe, getting a cup of coffee. And then after this, I'm gonna make my way to the second uh, museum, which is the Dutch Museum. All right, so right now we're in the, um, basically in an aircraft museum, which is basically um, where most of the German stuff is since I guess the night, like the early 1900s, since the Wright brothers created the first plane. Now you guys can see behind me, there's like literally jets. Here I have a spaceship, literally a full, full on spaceship. I'll even show you its engine right here. Look at its engine. So there's that and this museum is actually absolutely massive. There's also a lot of stuff here from World War II and World War I, which is a lot of stuff I'm actually really interested in. Um, so that's kind of why I came here. It was actually a very, it took, took a while to get here, around 40 minutes with the scooter. And there's also some missiles that they had on the, uh, on the planes, but they have nothing in them right now. So if you take a look right here, All right, so I'm back at my hostel right now. I'm just changing, I had to change a bit because it was really, really raining very, very bad outside. And I literally, went, like I was taking the scooter home and it was super, super, super wet outside. Like I was fully, fully drenched. So I had to change my whole outfit, my socks, my shirt, jeans, everything. Um, and right now I'm going out to eat with a couple of my friends. They just came back from the mountains and then I'm gonna go eat with them right now. Um, and then we're probably gonna spend the rest of the night together, all of us, and really just enjoy our last night here in Germany. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be going to Prague. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. All right, so I am in Prague, Czech Republic right now. So if you saw my my last video you would have saw that I was actually in Munich and before that Luxembourg and before that I was in Switzerland um, so right now I'm in Prague Czech Republic I actually just got into my hostel right now A very funny story of what happened to me on the train. So I was supposed to take a six hour straight train from Munich to Prague. Uh, midway through the train, the announcer comes on and they speak in German and in Czech saying something. And I wasn't really know, sure what they said and because I, you know, I only speak English. So then, um, uh, so then everybody gets up and they start talking and some, something like a bunch of people just start talking and everybody gets up. So I was like, whatever. So I just sat there continuing to watch my, uh, my, my, my Netflix stuff. But I was watching actually Outer Banks. I just started here on the trip. And then like an hour goes by and I realized like we're totally going off route from where the train was supposed to go. So then I asked the girl next to me, I was like, where, like what happened? Where are we going? Are, are we still going to Prague? And she told me that the split, the train split in half. And I was on this, I was on the, the, the part that didn't go to Prague. And it was, I was going to a different place, um, North of Germany. So I was like, what the heck? Um, so then we looked through our phone, figured it out. And then I figured out a way to get to Prague. I ended up getting here one hour later, which is not really a big deal um, because I usually just spend the nights here. Um, but I'm actually doing a night tour tonight in the dungeon in Prague. So Prague actually has a lot of underground bunkers that I'm going to be going through tonight on a night tour. It's very cool. It's a one hour long tour that starts at 9 45 p.m. and it goes on for one hour. I'm probably going to eat before that, then go on the tour, then maybe get some dessert after, come back and sleep, and then I have a big day planned for tomorrow. And the great thing I love about hostels is you meet so many great people. Like Taken, already when I came, I already met two people. One guy from France, um, and or actually two guys from France. One of them was named Jason. He's actually my roommate. And another guy, I, I didn't get his name, but this guy, um, he's pretty cool, and I'll probably, I'll probably probably end up spending the most of the day tomorrow with him. So it's really cool. I didn't expect traveling alone to be um, this nice, but I love meeting new people and the people at the hostel are always so willing to be friends with you and they're very, very nice. Even the people at Munich, I think I met like five or six people and they were super, super nice and funny.